the power of Mary. You see, the power of Mary is in her simplicity. The power of Mary is in her obedience. The power of Mary is in the fact that she chose to serve even when she deserved to be served. She's pregnant, 14, 15, 16 years old, doesn't think of herself but runs to serve Elizabeth. And this was the beginning of her ministry, the ministry that she'd had to serve, to serve Jesus first and foremost, to bring him up in wisdom and stature, but also to serve others, to love others. And she still serves. She still serves. She still draws us to the Father, to the love of the Father. And it is such a pity so often that we have this beautiful gift of service, a gift of Mary, our mother, who is in heaven with the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Someone we have who is a friend in high places and very often we don't acknowledge Mary. We don't ask for her intercession. She is there and she's so powerful. I've never seen the power of Mary so manifest and so incredible than when I worked for a few years doing and helping out in exorcisms. Now this is scary, we think of exorcisms, we think of movies, but it is so powerful. Nothing grows your faith than attending exorcisms. Seeing God deliver those who are possessed from the power of Satan. And every time, always, the greatest manifestations, the greatest turbulence, the greatest unsettling of the demonic happens when we invoke the intercession of Mary. She terrifies the devil. She, she scares and scatters demonic powers. Now, this may for some seem like a fairy tale, but believe me, it is not. Invoke Mary as your intercessor, especially when you feel trapped, when you feel oppressed, when you feel that you cannot handle things anymore because Mary is there to fight for you. She's not this passive, placid woman on the side that we go and bow and throw kisses to, but she's someone who really is there to fight for our souls. So use this gift. This gift that Jesus himself has given us when, she, when he was on the cross and he said, John, this is your mother. And he looked to the apostle, the beloved. He looked to you and me and he said, this, this is your son. You, to look after Mary, to look after us and to look to the apostle and say, this is your mother. She is our mother. And mothers will turn over stones, mountains, run through valleys, swim through the deepest oceans to make sure that we are well and safe. And she will do that for you also. So let's pray for the intercession of Mary. As we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen.